We're gonna try and do a tutorial here on how traits work. Now, I don't think I'm a master at traits or auras or any of that, but I think I've got it kind of down packed a little. As you could see, this sample is not black. It doesn't have pitch colors. Well, that's because it has the shadow aura. I guess I'll start by explaining what auras are. Auras are cosmetic traits that your dragons can get. Your dragons can get two different types of traits. Stat traits? I don't know exactly what they call these. These will actually affect the dragon's stats. Cosmetic traits don't affect the dragon at all other than changing the colors and the look of a dragon. For example, this dragon is orange, but it's completely covered in black shadows. Another example would be this dragon. It's gold, but it has the platinum trait, so it makes it look shiny, and it kind of changes the colors a bit. If I do a better example of that, I could do a side-by-side -side here. Here is a normal strawberry milkshake ample, and here is the same dragon with the platinum trait. As you can see, they look slightly different, and this one's shinier. <laughs> I actually really like the Platinum trait, that's one of my favorites. There are actually a number of cosmetic traits in the game currently. There isn't a lot, but there's a decent amount. I'll put a list of them up on the screen. You have Shadow, which I just showed you. Platinum, which is another I showed you. Albinism, Melanism, Aura, Electric, Inflamed, and Wild Aura. Now, most of those, which I will list, Shadow, Platinum, Albinism, Melanism, and Wild Eye Aura can all be obtained just by breeding dragons together and hoping to get lucky. That's how any cosmetic trait or any trait in general is actually obtained. But if you want traits like, like Aura, you actually have to get Aura Tail and Aura Head and breed those two together to make an aura dragon. Now it's not guaranteed, but that you have to keep breeding those two together till you get aura. Or find another player with aura trait and breed with their dragon or buy the dragon off of them to breed with your own dragons in order to pass aura trait to dragons. Same goes for electric and inflamed. There will be a head and tail aura for each of those that you have to get both of and breed together. Sadly, I don't have any of those in my inventory right now to give for as an example. I only have... <laughs> but the other ones I do have are um, currently another type of trait is honeybees. There are currently three, no, four limited time traits in the game. Uh, Celestial Blaze, which was only obtain obtainable during the Lunar New Year event, and only the Fulong was able to get it from the specific egg that you were able to hatch. You can't breed them right now, so at least not at the time I'm making this video. Loving Aura, which was only available during Thanksgiving. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanksgiving! No, Valentine's. I'm keeping that. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I have Loving Aura on my dragon here. I have Loving Aura on pretty much too many of them, actually. Um, you can still get Loving Aura, but only if you breed with somebody who has Loving Aura. You cannot obtain it just by randomly breeding dragons. You are only able to get it that way during the Valentine's event. Same goes with Lucky Aura. And the current aura that's available right now is Honeybees. You can still get the Honeybee Aura right now, at least the time I'm making this video, because it was out for the Easter event. Now, if you're watching this after the Easter event, it's no longer available. But Loving Aura and uh, Lucky Aura, they both had head and tail versions of themselves, so you had to get those two first before you were able to get just the Aura. Honeybees works different. Honeybees works like Shadow and Platinum and Albinism. It's just Honeybees. So in order to get Honeybees, you have to breed your dragons nonstop until Honeybees shows up, but only during the Easter event. And of course, after the Easter event, if you find someone with Honeybees, you can breed with them. Now on to actual traits, like the non-cosmetic ones, the ones that actually affect your dragon's stats. As you can see here, this dragon is looking pretty good. I've been trying to get uh, all max tier. Max tier is 10. So it'll start at tier 1 and get to tier 10. And how you get traits is same way as you would get auras. You have to just breed dragons. Now, 
You could start with a dragon and named it Clean Stats with nothing. Now, if you just bred this with another dragon with nothing, there is like a chance that it will get a stat. Um, I don't know what the percentage of that is, but it could get a positive or negative trait. It's not guaranteed. The only way to kind of semi-guarantee that is if you already have one with like these and you breed it with an empty one, there's a chance one of these will pass or a completely random one because these two have been trying to breed together so they all have like four stats. I need large lungs, thermal resistance, sharp teeth, and tough skin. I'm trying to make battle amps. Don't ask why. I'm weird. <laughs> the amps are by far not battle dragons, but... And then once I get all of them on one, I have to do it again on a second and then keep breeding them together in order to get them all up. So what you would do is they start at tier one. If I bred these two together, I'll actually... You know what? They could probably breed. I need to... Okay. Uh, where are my little battle amps? Not that one. That one. So these both have tier one. If I breed them, it's not going to guarantee me that I'm going to get the stats I want. But, yeah, as you can see, I got a negative stat. That's what I don't want. So normally, uh, if I see that, I immediately release it because I don't want negative stats. Absolutely not. But as you can see, large lungs is now tier two. That's because I bred a tier one with a tier one, got a tier two. And that's how you would tier up. It's not guaranteed, though. As you can see, it didn't get the other traits. And there was a chance that it would have just given me a tier one anyway. The higher the tier, the harder it is to tier up. So once you get to, like... Honestly, by tier five, you really start to have trouble to get them to go up. I, I tried as an example of how long it takes. Now, everyone's different. Everyone's luck is different, everyone's time is different. But for me, I have been breeding these Ampholes since the end of the last Guild Wars, <laughs> and I just about, I want to say a couple days ago, got tier 10 for the strong wing membrane. I was stuck at 9 for like a month. It took that long. Um, I just got tier 8 on this, but I can't seem to get tier 8 on the bottom one here because I have one with two sevens. It, it's taken some time. It's going to take time. You have to have patience if you're going to do this, especially if you want perfect stats. Now, now these guys only take seven minutes, though, for breed cooldown. But try doing it on something like <laughs> that's a day. And on top of that, when you do eventually get a tear up, you have to raise the dragon and then breed that with another dragon. It's just so, so you would breed these two together. If you get one that's better, you would raise that, breed it with the better version in hopes of and just continue that cycle. The tier thing could actually get a little confusing, but once you get started on actually, you know, when you get the ball rolling and you start to really understand it, it gets a little easier. You know, I should probably release that, but maybe I'll sell it or give it away. Oh, another thing, uh, would you hatch a dragon naturally? Uh, there is a chance that it will hatch with zero, one, or two positive traits. I don't think that they can get negative traits. And by hatching, I'm pretty sure that means hatched out of an egg or, um, like, obtained off of the season pass or something. So, like, any dragon that's gotten the natural way has a chance of getting zero, one, or two positive traits. I don't think it can get negative, which is nice. Honestly, it's... If you think about it, I guess it is pretty simple once you, once you understand it. And I hope that this actually helps a little, even if it sounds like I do nothing but talk, and talk, and talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, no, seriously, I really hope that this helps some people, because I know that it could get pretty confusing. Some people don't even care, though. Like, eh, some people don't care about traits and, and, and auras and all of that. And I get you, you don't have to. It's not for everybody. But hopefully the next video, uh, I was actually asked to make a video on quote-unquote... <laughs> dragon adventure language which i kind of find funny I, I didn't really think about it um and by that i mean you know fm full mute uh nm no mute dbl double legendary when you see all those weird things in chat and people are like what does that mean what does that mean so i'll probably make a video on what what most of the most common ones mean i'm not gonna make it on every single one because there are themes and people like shorten terms for certain themes and there are <laughs> There's got to be like 200 plus themes out there and I can't, I don't know all of them myself, so. But with that, I wish you all luck if you're trying to uh, get
get specific auras or specific stats. And I hope you could get what you want, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!